Mike, when you did your self-evaluation this past week, um, the offense has been kind of sluggish coming out of the gate. Did you uncover any kind of common denominator as to what you can address moving forward? Yeah, there was some there was some good stuff that we looked at as a staff. Really took some good time and evaluated first, second down, third down, red zone. Um, just took just really kind of went piece by piece on personnel groupings, the players putting those guys in in the spots if they were in the right spots and. Um, I think we came out with some good information and stuff that we can apply moving forward. How much of that, though, is, is getting a feel for, you know, not only what your guys are doing, but what the other side is doing? Yeah, it, it's a good combination of both. You know, you have to make sure, um, you know, we've had we've had some new players come in. And so we're, we're constantly evaluating how those guys play and what, you know, what their strengths are, and what their weaknesses are. And then also trying to tie that into what we see from a defensive standpoint. That's um, that's been the key, and that's what we're, we spend a ton of time on every single day. Mike, what um, what have you seen from Kenny after the bye here, and and what can you reasonably expect from him after you know such a quiet first part of the season? Yeah, well, well Kenny Kenny came out yesterday, had a good day of practice. Really, the, the standard for him and for every for every player to come out, plays, practice hard, um, you know, work on your techniques and assignments, and then um, you know when your role is defined in the game, go out and execute. Do you have any sense that he can? You know, give you something in the second half here. I mean, and, and and when you look back, other than the injuries, what do you see? Why it just didn't work for him in the first half? Yeah, I, I don't want to get too far ahead. I think today's a, good, a big practice for everybody. You know, we got a, a bulk of the game plan in our, our base first, second down stuff, putting in some more third downs and red zone today. So um, this will be a good test to kind of work through all the stuff and make sure we're all on the same page. If you don't want to get too far ahead, how about just looking back and seeing, you know, what were the speed bumps that you noticed for him in the first half of the season? I think Kenny's done a good job. You know, Kenny's came in and he's, he's been a, a great teammate. Um, he's come in and worked hard when he's when he's been practicing. And I know he's got a little dinged up, so um, he you know he worked his tail off to get ready for for this week, and we're, we're happy that he's he's available. The reality with him is his role was minimized even before he was injured. Um, with where you are now, how much would you like that to be? You know, for him to do more moving forward. Yeah, every week, you know, each day we'll go together as a staff and, and get together with Dave and talk about each everyone's role, everyone's um, job, you know, per that game plan. And so it's still being still being defined. You know, every single day we evaluate that and make sure we get the guys in the right spot. And um, by, by the time we get to Sunday, we have a good plan and everyone understands what they're doing. How much can Wandale's role grow now that he's been healthy, he's been, you know, back in the mix? Wandell's continuing to grow in the offense as, as a young player. Um, he's doing all the right things in the classroom um, and getting on the same page with the quarterback. You know, that's, that's really important for a young guy. Um, and then you know, learn how to be a pro. And I think he's done a good job of that um, to date. And I think he'll continue to do that throughout this week. You guys didn't make a lot of big uh, moves this year to the trade deadline, uh, which did, did bring in Isaiah. What, what, what have you seen from Ryan, Ryan, and, Ryan and Joe coming on? Yeah, there's definitely a lot of familiarity with Isaiah in the offense um, and having some experience with that. So it's, he's been great to kind of come in and, and plug in into the offense. And there's a lot of familiarity for him offensively. You know, there's some new things that we've, um, we might have changed and just different verbiage. But he's handling it great. And, um, you know, again, again, today's another one of those big days as far as um, workload from, from the game plan standpoint. Why have there been so few shots down the field in the passing game? Is that something you think needs to increase? As Absolutely. Result? I think you got to find ways to create explosive. It definitely helps offense. It's, it's hard to, you know, put together 13, 14 play drives and, and finish and go and score. So, you know, you got to find a way to generate explosives in the run game, the pass game. Um, so, yeah, we, we definitely evaluated that. When you look back at the first half of the season, did you – think you used Saquon enough you should have used them less how, how did you look at it uh that's that's a good one I think you know when you look we are at in, in the game there's a, there's a lot of different situations that come up sure would you want to get you know um, a premier player of the ball yes absolutely but you know sometimes you got to react to what the defense is showing you and um, other people have to have to step up and make those plays too so I think Saquon's a, a you know he's a he's a good part of our offense he does a lot of things for us in the pass game, protection, in the run game. Um, but there's a lot of other players too. It's 11-man operation on offense. So it can't just be one guy. Um, all, all, everyone's a part of it, including the coaches, and putting everyone in, the, in a good spot to be successful. This is, he, he's had some slow starts getting back to the original question here. Is that part of that 
to be expected because a team is going to come out and try to shut him down? You know, um, I, don't, I don't know if I don't know if that's um, if that's real. I, I think you know we got to go out and execute our, our offense um, and, and make adjustments. I think we have to do a better job of that. It's, you know, offensively, coaching standpoint, you know, get our guys in the right spot, um, and put them there. That way, they can go out and go play fast. I mean, that's at the end of the day, that's all it comes down to is our execution and um, our discipline. You know, uh, at all three levels. What are you expecting from Daniel here in the second half, and how can he sort of get you guys offensively to the next level? Yeah, the, the, the standard for us hasn't changed. I think, you know, today we're at just going and having a great practice. That's that's the first step. And then as the week goes on, just keep on getting better and um, understanding the game plan, understanding our opponent, and, um, and and then we go out and execute on Sunday. How much would you say he's worn you over? Say it again. How much would you say he's worn you over? Like, you know, from when you first came in, you have to learn about him. Yeah. To now. There's, there's definitely a lot of trust between me and Daniel. We, we met, we meet very often, um, you know, especially in the off season during training camp, you know, we were meeting every single morning for an hour, talking through the game, talking through the installs, talking ranking stuff. We talk, you know, multiple times a week about the install. At the end of the week, you know, we, we go through each, um, every single play on the call sheet, rank it, talk about it, see how we're going to use it within the game. Um, how the game, if, if a game goes one way, we'll go this direction. If a game goes another way, we go this direction. So we, we definitely talk a lot about that, and he does a great job with it. And he's a pro, and he's been, he's been around you know, here for a few years now and has seen a few things. So um, it's been good to, to lean on him and get his comfortability with the offense. Can you get more, can you get more from him, Mike, or is, is he where he's at? And that's... Yeah, you know, Daniel's doing a great job. I mean, he's doing everything we're asking him to do. And I think as, as the offense continues to progress and we keep on finding, finding ways to get our best players the football, um, you know, he'll, he'll continue to do what we ask him. What did, what did you think uh, the main execution issues were in Seattle? Um, I would say, you know, I, when we go back and look at it, I mean, every, every group had a piece of it. Every, um, and that's, it goes, again, it goes all three levels, O-line, running backs, receivers, quarterbacks. I mean, everyone's a part of it. And I think you know, we, we went back and looked at all the little fundamental things, the techniques, those things showed up. Um, you know, we look at it and evaluate it as a play caller that I put my guys in the right spot in that situation. Um, you know, there's things that showed up that way as well. So, you know, I tell the guys all the time, we're all in this thing together. We got to make sure that we're all, um, we're all doing our part. And if there's little things that we got to fix, we, we talk, we communicate, we adjust, and then we, we go back and fix it. So that's what, that's what was great about the buy is you had that opportunity to do that um, because, you know, sometimes you get rolling and the weeks kind of just keep on going and then you, you're not able to kind of step back and reevaluate the big picture of things. And so that was a great time for us as a staff, um, as players, to, to kind of get rejuvenated and kind of go back to um, more of the basic stuff and fundamental things and reteach those things.